Thank you, Kasunda. Uh, very good morning to everybody. I'm Saif Roshid. I'm the CEO of Jita Social Business Bangladesh Limited. Uh, Jita is a door-to-door -door sales network with poor ladies in Bangladesh. So every work that we do is around making income for the poor ladies of Bangladesh. What we do is actually we identify poor people in rural villages, we train them, and we engage them with a system that they can do this work in a cost-effective way. So what we do is actually we recruit hubs, which is a micro-franchisee, then we recruit service person, and then that delivers the product from different suppliers to the hub, and then the hub all the way to the saleswoman houses, and then the saleswoman sells it to the rural households. And by doing that, we are actually having income opportunity and employment opportunity for rural poor households and rural poor women and men in villages. And we're actually linking a very difficult part of market and consumer, which is, I think, one of the world's most challenging problem when you look about different products that you need to reach to rural consumers. So we are doing this in a cost-effective way in Bangladesh. And what is happening is actually when we do this, the companies or suppliers who has good products and services for rural consumers, they get access to this. We have this hubs, which is a micro-franchisee, as I said, of Jita. They get income of $200 per month, which is almost 70% of their total income. Uh, the service person who gets around $50 per month as employment. And the saleswoman, they get $25 to $45 per month as the income. And the consumer gets access to rural markets. On top of this, by doing this, that is our main revenue is coming from the companies for reaching to rural consumers. These are some of the products that we are selling. Mainly some are like fast-moving consumer goods, which can ensure the income of the ladies who are selling. And there on top, we have health, hygiene, nutrition, agricultural inputs, solar lamps, which we think is required for rural consumers in Bangladesh. In 2013, we have sold around $7 million of products through this network. And in this year, we're targeting $11 million of sales through this network. Well, if you, if you look into Bangladesh, it's, it's like every NGO goes there with, uh, with money and thinks the poor are as beneficiary. And what we're trying to do is actually we're trying to change them as a stakeholder and part of the supply chain. And when we do this, they get income and you pretty much know what happens when they get income. It, they spend more on education and nutrition. They save more. Uh, it helps them in terms of having uh, more control over household assets, which is important for empowerment. And it improves their social status. And we are measuring this through our regular impact assessment, and also Oxford University Side Business School is a partner with us in terms of measuring this outcome. They have written several studies on this. And we get a happy woman in rural villages. Uh, if you look into this opportunity of reaching the market to the rural consumers, what is happening in Bangladesh is like they get impactful product, as I said. Hygiene is a very big part of it. And what happens is like when you put one woman as a seller and one woman in the village, it, uh, you know what is going to happen. They talk about several things they, and information starts flowing. And they exchange things like, for example, they have rice, they exchange for soap uh, to buy this. And it's a, it's a peculiar environment in Bangladesh. Is like you ask your husband to buy products for you. So you don't normally go to rural women in the villages. They normally don't go to the marketplace to buy something. So what we're actually doing, we're eliminating husband from the <laughs> situation. And, and by doing this, we are empowering the woman in, as a consumer, I mean, which was very interesting to look into. And again, we are framing this because this is a difficult area to measure the impact on consumers. So we are again framing this with uh, Side Business School, Oxford University, to look into better what are the empowerment issues happening. Uh, so again, for consumers, because that, is, that has become one of the major part beside the woman's income, we have started doing consumer education through year meetings, different digital communication techniques in the schools, and we have done branded vehicles in the uh, villages to promote different products. And what happened is like we have uh, less consumer uh, acquisition cost for the sales ladies started happening, so they can now sell more nutrition products in the villages. 
And they can have like, we had an example of sanitary napkin promotion in, in schools and they had increased 700% of growth of sanitary napkin sale in, in, this, in, the, in that village. Uh, well, we are here two and a half years. We have started with only 13 people and now we have 7,500 sales ladies in Bangladesh. We have 450 service person as employed for delivering the products and we are reaching to 600,000 households in rural Bangladesh. Is not it good? Um, uh, let's look at the financials. We, as I said, we have started in 2012 and we have already started a positive cash flow. Uh, in 2013, we are, uh, in 2014, we are going to make around $80,000 as profit and $1 million as revenue. We are targeting to reach 30,000 ladies as women entrepreneur. We want to double their income. We want to make a lot of money for the poor ladies in Bangladesh. We want to generate $6 million of revenues for poor women in next four years. So we need $700,000 for doing this. Uh, we are here. So if you want to empower women, please join with us and we'll, we'll, uh, we'll talk together. We'll partner together. Thank you very much.